Well, I learned something about myself today. <clears throat> when it comes to the sea, the ocean, anything with that has even the remotely smallest waves, I'm, I'm just done. I'm a mess. I get seasick. I learned that today on my paddleboard. I got seasick on my paddleboard. I went out here in the ocean, I guess. I mean, this is more the Chesapeake Bay than the actual ocean, but it's not a, uh, a rough day out there at all. It's very calm, but I was a mess. I had to come in, I had to paddle in because uh, it would have ruined my entire day if I'd have stayed out there. It takes me a long time to recover from being seasick, so I had to cut my trip short. That was kind of a bummer. And dr Dramamine does not work for me. I've used that before and it's nothing. It does nothing. Um, I do have a prescription. I probably need to get it renewed, but my doctor did call in a motion sickness patch for me one time. I think you wear it on your neck or something. I don't know. But that's what I need, man. I am just the biggest puss when it comes to getting seasick. Let me show you this water. This is ridiculous. This is not... Look how calm that water is. It's not heavy waves or anything. That's about as calm as it gets. I'm fine on lakes and ponds, but I just cannot handle the ocean, man, or any real disturbance in the water. I'm, I'm, I mean, I did stand up. I managed to stand up on my pedal board briefly for, you know, two minutes, maybe three, and I was feeling a little unsteady. And that, on top of me getting seasick, I could feel it creeping on me. I just, I was, I was a mess. I'm really irritated by that because there's so many things I love to do. I love fishing, boating. I went jet skiing before when I was younger. I never got seasick there. I don't know if that would make a difference or not, but ugh, I'm just so frustrated. I'm so disappointed in myself. I do not have sea legs. <laughs>